Mr. Rar, as I seldom call myself. We're joined here by the Bear family as Timothy and the Bears. Uh, we'll call him Ronnie. We'll call him um, Ronnie. We'll call him her, Bonnie, and we'll call him Jim. Today, I'm doing a tutorial to teach you and anybody else out there how to draw yourself as a bearer. So you want to look as a bearer. I'm going to show you how to draw yourself as a bearer. Now, I draw in a cartoonish way, so this will be a cartoonish bearer. Let's get started. The very simple, basic building blocks of any drawing starts with circles, starts with squares and blocks and shapes. So. What you want to do is probably get used to drawing circles, little circles, big circles, multiple circles. And what you want to do with these circles um, is draw lines to show the shape, to show the, the 3D form of it, really, more form. Uh, once you get familiar with drawing the circles, uh, you can start adding on top of it. So let's say that's your face. You draw an eye, an eye and a mouth, some ears, let's get into bears, alright first thing we want to look at a picture of bears, but we'll, first thing we're going to notice about bears is that they have big heads, obviously they have big heads, what else do they have, they have big bodies, now, what about their arms and legs? Okay, not necessarily long. They're kind of stout. Uh, we also want to note they have cute little ears. So they have ears on top, big head, big body. And that snout thing, I'll show you a great way to draw that. If you ever have to draw that, I'll show you a great way to do it. New page? We're going to call this bear page. Alright, so we're dealing with big circles. So we'll go with the head. Big head, big bear. Now, you'll notice their necks, too. Their necks are very flat. They go from a big head to flat to a big body. So we'll go ahead and we'll draw a big body, too. Something like that. Very bulky. He's kind of long. So, um, along with the circles, if you want to draw arms, don't start. Best way to do this, not, don't just start poking them out wherever you want. Unless you're very talented, you do whatever you want, and you're probably better than me. You know, if you think it's better than me, whatever. So, uh, we probably want his arms doing something dynamic. These guys are kind of boring. Uh, so, we'll do one here, do a paw. We'll do another arm here, do another paw. Maybe he's dancing. We'll make him dancing. Uh, for his butt, for his bottom, we'll do another circle there. And we'll have him kicking. Maybe he'll be a football player. Yeah, he'll be a football player, Bear. I don't know any famous football players because I don't really like football, but uh, we'll throw another leg here, another paw there. For the feet, you probably want to go as more of an elongated shape, uh, just because that's typically how feet are. Hands, you'll go as more a circle, and you'll just fill it in later. Paws or whatever. Paws, paw, paw, paw. A lot of drawing is just blocking out. It's a lot of a lot of pre little drawing underneath. So this is our basic shape of our football bear. Now I will show you how to do a great snout. Think of a sheet of paper as I grab a sheet of paper. Think of a sheet of paper. Now think about folding that sheet of paper into thirds. Just like that. Sheet of paper roughly, roughly like this. Now, fan it out a little bit, and you got a snout. If you got to draw a snout, just picture it like this. Hey, I'm a snout! <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to show where his face uh, face is. We'll draw a line here, and we'll go ahead 
and we'll just draw that little sheet of paper out. Just like that. That gives us a perfect bear snout. We want to add his ears. We'll just draw the circles on top. For the cute ears. And uh, the noses. Let's take a look at the noses. They have big black noses. Now, of course, there's many different bears. So you can draw different kinds of bears. Uh, but these are grizzly bears. Most bears have similar types of bears a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just add a nose on this sucker. We'll do something like that. You want it to be big, and you kind of want it to cover that one third. That first step for that flat part of that sheet of paper, you want it to cover that. Uh, they have kind of, uh, uh, you know, jaws there. We'll add the, 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 man, what's that called? I don't know, whatever, I'm so drunk, but. Uh, <laughs> we'll add in the little details, give them a little fuzziness. Fuzziness, because you your fuzzy bear. And uh, <laughs> we'll look at the bears, they don't really have big eyes. They have small eyes, kind of sunken. This will be a football playing bear. You know, he doesn't have a helmet because he's, he's careless like that. You know, he don't play by your rules. He don't play by my rules. We'll give him, uh, we'll give him a little, 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 little open mouth here. We're like, yeah, I'm the champion because you are the champion. <laughs> I'm talking like a crazy person. Uh, we, 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 we fuzz him out, give him a little fuzzies. Uh, should he have on a, no, nah, he'll just be a regular bear, a regular old bear, big, big, you know, you start filling, filling in more details. When you fill in your details, uh, you know, don't, you don't have to focus on, uh, like layers and levels and all that. It's okay if it's a flat drawing. And when I mean flat, uh, I'll do an example if you can see it on there. Uh, flat drawing would be something like this. This is a guy who looks flat. That guy's black. Uh, we'll go with somebody who's round. He's rounded, I would say. He's kind of got, uh, you know, areas, different areas. He's got muscles. He's got overlapping things and stuff like that. That's not really a good example, but that's the same guy. He's not so flat. He's still a little flat. So that's an example of a bear football player who's naked. He's having fun, kicking back. Get some drinks. You want to picture that there? Nice. Nice. How you Hoorah! Rock? Hoorah! So, how do you draw you, you as a bear? We'll show you how to draw you as a bear on the next page, which will be entitled Take a Guess. You as a bear. You as a bear. Bear, you want to think of some physical features that really make you stand out. If you got a big nose, accentuate that big nose. If you kind of got dopey eyes, accentuate those dopey eyes. You know, think of a shirt you wear a lot. You know, if if uh, you know if you're a guitarist, draw yourself with the guitar. Hmm. If you if, if you like drawing, draw draw yourself with pens and papers and stuff like that. Let's try to think of five things that represent us. Put that into the bear. So at home, take your time, think of five things that represent you. You got them? No? <laughs> Come on, man, what have you been doing? Anyway, so as an example, I'll draw me as a bear. So I'll just jot it down. What are some things about me that are physical attributes that I could add to a bear? We'll go with glasses. Glasses. This is called uh, prepare. This is the, the preparing for drawing the bear as <laughs> yourself. So we'll start off with the basic bear shape. Big circle head. Uh, big circle body. Maybe make mine a little bigger. I'm kind of a chunky fella. I could have added chunky, but I did it because bears are already chunky. So I have my big circle head, big circle body. My paws are circles. I'll draw my butt. The butt's kind of kind of a bowl, kind of a bowl type shape. Think of a big bowl, and then just draw a big bowl on the bottom of the bear, and that'll be a bear butt. You know, because think about it, bears don't have they don't have cheeks or anything like that. A bear is just kind of flat with a little tail. Uh, so we kind of we kind of this is gonna be a 
some shortening there. Like I said with the feet, you don't want to do circles. You don't want circle feet. Nobody has circle feet. Uh, you kind of have that shape, kind of an oval shape. I'm drawn all over this guy. And uh, I like to kick my feet up sometimes, so we'll go ahead and we'll have his feet kind of high. Because uh, he's a beast like me. We'll go ahead and draw his toes. Again, like I said, you don't have to be that detailed when you're drawing. I'm doing it some just because I like to draw and I like cartoons. And, uh, you know, I, I just like drawing. So, we'll go into the features of the bear. First, we're going to draw our curve line to show his face. Which way his face is facing. Now, when you draw your sheet of paper on top of it for the snout, you want to kind of get it right there. Right in the middle, about the middle of the head. We can look at the bear. The bear has it in the middle of the head. And then, like I said, we just bring our lines out. Bring our lines out. Push it back. Push it real good. And there's my snout. My snout's a little small, but uh, hey, size doesn't matter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to have eyeballs because I'm going to have glasses, and I have geek glasses, so I'm going to have my glasses. I said glasses about a hundred times. Kind of looks more like a koala bear, but that's still a bear. Uh, I'll have my hat backwards because I do that from time to time. I try to be like Fred Durst or something like that. And if you don't know who Fred Durst is, that doesn't matter. I kind of have a bigger nose, so I'll put a bigger nose there. We'll add, uh, we'll add some, some buck teeth there. Now he's a beaver bear. Whatever. <laughs> Just some beaver. And uh, we'll fill in the rest of this. He's holding the sticks, and he's playing drums, and he's moving, and he's shaking. And uh, like I said earlier, we'll do some for shortening hair, as, they, as the pros say, we'll get our bare foot in and we'll put some big toes because bears are big and monstrous and dangerous. They're a little bit dangerous. Thank you, Adrian. And uh, again, here I am as a bear. But yeah, that's me as a bear. So it gives you an example of how I included glasses, glasses, a hat, a hat, buck teeth, but teeth, you can't see it too well, but if it was a finished drawing, you would. Uh, drums, clearly there are drums. A roar. So I gotta have him say roar. So there, he says roar. Now, let's make it simple. Let's make it even simpler. I showed you how to incorporate... Uh, parts of yourself into the bear that you draw and we'll make it stupid simple. We're going to use a stick figure bear and uh, for anybody who f feels less confident in their drawing skills but they still want a cute little fuzzy bear at home, I'll show you how to do that. We'll go back to the board, circle, big circle, big circle head, big circle body, of course, we want that bold butt. We're going to draw our stocky arms, so they're going to be, these are just going to be sticks, though. So we'll do our sticks here. Bam. I'm a bear, so I have claws. <laughs> More claws up there. Maybe a little kung fu. <laughs> we'll do our uh, bear feet, very small. You got to think, bears walk on four legs. So they don't really use their arms necessarily. Um, I know these cuties right here are on their hind legs, but they really walk around. Uh, so it's not their legs and their arms are going to be proportioned in size. When you think of a human, bears are going to be about the same. Legs are going to be about just as tall as the arms. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I'm not very organized. Uh, same thing here, uh, only you don't really need to go with the line. Uh, you can if you want to. Draw small eyes. Bears have small eyes. We'll draw, we'll draw the, we'll draw the, I know he looks a little bit like a monkey right now, but that snout is going to kill it. That snout is what's going to do it. We draw our, our sheet of paper here. We draw our nose. And as soon as she, as soon as you see that snout, guess what? He and there you go. It's really simple. Uh, stick figure bear. He kind of looks creepy. Uh, either way, I would highly encourage everybody to draw yourself as a bear. And I have